have you come across podcasts before? Well, during the first lockdown, I ended up, like a lot of us, with a lot of time on my hands. And rather than just sitting there and watching TV, I really fancied trying to listen to stuff, which is something that I wasn't into anymore. And that's where I rediscovered the absolute gold mine of podcasts that there are out there. It is an absolutely incredible resource. So I thought that today was the suitable time to share that with you, to explore what are podcasts, how to find them, and how to explore the wonderful gold mine that there is out there. So podcasts are essentially an audio file that any of us can listen to around the world. So I suppose you could compare it to the radio. It's basically like having a radio and being able to listen to exactly what you want whenever you want. So I suppose again the comparison could be watching TV and watching on demand TV and then listening to the radio and being able to listen to podcasts. Podcasts can also be on any sort of subject. There's so much of a variety and you really can search for whatever you want to find exactly what you want to listen to. And the best part is, probably I'd say about 95% of all of the audio files out there are absolutely free. So now it's all a question of how do we explore the world of podcasts. There are many different ways of exploring the podcast world, but let's start off by seeing an example of what a podcast is. Well, my grandfather actually really enjoys Desert Island Discs, which happens weekly on Radio 4 and has been for years now. So I thought that we could start by seeing that the Desert Island Discs podcast does actually exist. So the first thing that I do is go onto Google and search for Desert Island Discs podcast. Now hopefully this will help me to find the place where I can discover the Desert Island Discs podcasts. And look, one of the first results to come up is the BBC website up here and the Desert Island Discs podcasts. When I click on that and it gets, takes me through, I see that I'm on the BBC Radio 4 website. And in front of me, I've got multiple different ones that I can watch. And as we can see, they're grouped by years. So why don't I just go into, say, the latest one with Desert Island Discs here. Now what I can do is search for the one that I really enjoyed. So for example, I can scroll down and see what's going on here. Or I can search up here using the search bar. When I was scrolling down, I actually noticed that look, we've got one on Sir Cliff Richard. Well, we won't be going on a summer holiday soon, but we can certainly listen to the wonderful Desert Island Discs on BBC Radio 4. The first thing that I can do here is either download the file or just listen straight away to it. So here, I don't really need to download it. I've got my Wi-Fi connected, so my internet is connected, and I can just use my computer to listen to it. By clicking on it, I can find out more details about it first before listening, if I'm not sure what I'm about to listen to. I can also find out what the length of the podcast is so that I know how much time I need to be able to listen to it. And then simply just click on listen now and this will take you through to be able to listen to Sir Cliff Richard. It's a bit like watching a YouTube video on the internet. And don't forget, if you prefer watching videos rather than listening to the radio, so I suppose if you're more a TV person than a radio person, then do check out our YouTube videos to make sure that you can make the most out of the wonders that are out there on the internet in terms of videos. Coming back to our podcasts, here you can see that it's very similar in terms of the controls. You have a play button, like on YouTube videos, in order to start listening to the podcast. Then you have a bar across the top here which allows you to control time. So you can move forward in the podcast or move backwards if you weren't able to listen to something or didn't hear something properly. You can then control the sound down here by moving the bar up or down. So you really can listen to whatever you wish to. And thanks to Google, we can find whatever you're looking for. So you could go back years with Desert Island Discs 
But let's move on to some of the other ways now that you can listen to podcasts. And what's so great about podcasts, well, at least I find, is that there are loads of apps on either your phone or on your tablet in order to listen to podcasts too, which allows you to move around, maybe be in a different room, move your podcast with you, or maybe go on a walk with your podcast whilst listening. So let's discover some of the apps out there. I'm going to show you this on my iPad because that's what I have in front of me. But it could also work on your phone, if it's a smartphone, or on your Samsung or Android tablet, if you have one of those. So with Apple, we're always looking for the same logo and it should already be installed on your device so that you can make the most out of the free podcasts out there. We're looking for the purple logo, which I can see right here on my screen. When I click on it, it will open up the app. Now I have different things here, including my own library, but let's just go in and find the same Cliff Richard Desert Island Discs podcast. So I'm going to use the search button down at the bottom here in order to search for Cliff Richard's Desert Island. And let's just stop there just to see whether it recognizes Desert Island rather than the whole words Desert Island discs. Here I search and wait for the result. Sometimes it can take a bit of time, of course. So just be patient and wait and see what pops up. And there we go. We have that exact episode that we just listened to on our computer right here for us to listen to. So we can click on it and it takes us through to the details, which gives us a bit more information about what's going on, as well as the hosts. Really interesting to find out that sort of information, right? And then I'm just looking for the play button. Like the other one, I can see it up at the top here. And when I click play, it starts playing. I can do a couple of other things whilst on the app, including pressing on these three little dots here to find out what I can do with this particular podcast. The first thing I can do is add it to my library, which means that I will always have it in my library as if it, you had it on your bookshelf. You have it in your iPad library so that you can come back to it. So let's just add it to our library there. Again, click on the little dots to find out a couple more things what we can do, including go to show. So if I click on that, let's see what that does. Well, it takes me through to the actual Desert Island Discs show, where I presume I can find all of the episodes. And bingo, I can click on see all episodes here and I can just browse through to see which ones might interest me. I happen to see that Ed Sheeran was up in the top one. So I'm just going to go back and look, there's Ed Sheeran who did it in 2017. So I can click on that this and start the, the Ed Sheeran podcast. Fantastic. Let's just press pause by pressing down at the bottom here and discover the last thing. Oh, there we go. You see what happened there? I clicked on the bottom and it actually popped up to show me what we were listening to. So I click on pause, pull my finger down so that goes down back to the bottom. And I see this little cloud icon, which means that I can download the episode. Why would I want to download an episode? Well, if I'm going out for a walk and I know that I'm going somewhere where I don't have an internet connection, it may be interesting and useful to download it onto my phone so that then I don't need an internet connection in order to listen to it. So I can just click on the little cloud icon like that and we'll see a little circle with a square in the middle appear. And as we can see, the circle progresses as we download our episode. So once the circle is fully blue, then that means that we have the episode right on our iPad and we can come back to it at any time with no internet. And there we go. That's how to use the podcast app on your iPad or your iPhone. So that's it really on the amazing world of podcasts. I hope that you enjoy it. If you have any questions, that you need answers to, please do let us know and we will try our best to help you out with the world of podcasts. And now really, all that's left to do is go and grab a cup of coffee or tea 
and listen to your favourite radio show as you want to and when you want to or discover something new. We look forward to hearing what are your favourite podcast shows so that we can share those with everyone. And don't forget, everything is free out there and it's really simple to use. See you next time in Guy's Guides.